Mediocre Hobbies Podcast, Season 2, Episode 14. Are we sure this isn't epic? Follow us online. Andy is at MediocreHobbies.com. Tom is at TomLandy.com. Who, you or me? Me. Uh, you're off to one side. But not like the worst angle in the world. We get this bloody thing in the same kind of position it was last time. Bloody thing. Bloody thing. Bloody camera. <clears throat> Hello, guys. Welcome back to another episode of the Media Hobbies podcast. Me and uh, Mr. Thomas here shall be arguing about Epic and Old World for the next uh, however many he decides to leave the video. I don't know how long it will be, but yes, we did lots of arguing. I mean, vivid discussion. You're really sad and upset about it, and I'm quite positive. <laughs> and and then I was really sad and negative, and you were quite positive. Yeah, yeah perfect. It balanced out well. Yeah, yeah. To me, to you, you'll just probably leave in all the bits where I look bad and take out all the yes. Yeah. Well, that's the price of editing. I you get you get that power. But uh, yeah, I think it's an interesting one here today, guys. We talk about um the new epic. We were supposed to record gonna... for an hour, and we've been talking for two and a half hours. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get some shows out of this. Yeah, yeah. So. Hopefully you guys enjoy the show and uh, yeah, enjoy. Speaking of special relationships, I want to talk about not Epic. What's it called? Uh, Imperialis. Legion Imperialis. Legion's Imperialis. I want to talk about that because I'm not going to get to talk to you about that if I don't talk to you about it now because oh. the internet yeah. says it's out in August. <clears throat> I think it is out in August based on the from when they announced it to the number of articles we got. I actually looked at the don't turn away and nod your head. So I looked at I looked at the um at the list of articles. So the first of July was the preview where they showed off yes. the, the box. Then the third of July they did like a QA. Then the fourth of July they did the bit where they stacked up four of them next to a space marine to show you the size of it. Then the sixth they did their Heresy Thursday, where they showed off the direwolf Titans in plastic, which is cool. Yeah. Then the seventh they did some more Q and A. And then the tenth they did another Q and A. <laughs> so like they're really I haven't seen them do this many kind of like Q and A articles and pushing stuff out articles and like well I think it's that thing again I think it's that that thing they do which is a little bit sneaky but it's like it's business I guess but I find it to be a little bit sneaky and it's that like we don't want anyone who was going to buy Leviathan to go oh no I'm more excited about that I'll wait they wanted to buy Leviathan and then see the new thing. You'd yeah. be like, oh, crap, I really want that. Well, I guess I have to buy that too. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? So they didn't want to show this off at all until Leviathan had dropped. And then it yeah. was like, oh, by the way, Titanic is this like, new epic is like around the corner. And everyone's yeah. like, oh, Jesus. Do you, do, you, do you remember when they changed that in White Dwarves? When they went from, I think it was, I remember it very clearly when like the Grand Knights came out. I think that was like an April or a May release. And in the February's issue, the back two pages were like coming soon, Grey Knights, and you knew it was like two months later. And we both worked for GW at this stage. Yeah. Uh, I'm talking about the plastic release, by the way, not the original yeah. Grey Knight release. <clears throat> and I remember very specifically because it was my store's birthday and it was the first time the store had hit a particular milestone for years. Yeah. And I, you know, that was Grey Knight launch day. And so that was stood me stood me very well in, in, in kind of management's view, obviously. But the reason they stopped it was because you... Who is it? I can't remember his name. Maybe it's uh, Dave Whitek has this rule now where he doesn't buy anything until there's like a window of opportunity. And once that window's passed, if he still wants it, he buys it. <clears throat> and those old white dwarves fell into that where you were like, yeah, I'm super excited about Grey Knights. And then next month's White Dwarf comes out and you look and you go, wow, Seraphon. I'm really excited about Seraphon. And you lose interest in Grey Knights. Yeah. And then by the time Grey Knights come out, you've picked up the White Dwarf the same day. And you're like, wow, Dark Angels. I'm really excited about Dark Angels. And you end up in this situation where you don't really buy anything. And yeah. the shops weren't selling stuff. So I get it. But I like to know what's coming out. I don't. Really? Yeah, like... If someone was like, here, I'll show you all of the next two years with the reveals now, I'd be like, no, 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 no. I love no, I don't reveals. mean, I don't want two years in advance, but I'd take six months. No, I don't even want six months. No, no I, don't, I don't want the spoilers. I like the, um, yeah, I like, the, I like the, like, 
I like the reveals quite a lot. Even when people are like, oh, it's crap. They didn't give us anything I wanted. I'm like, no, I've enjoyed every single one of them because we do it online with a bunch of people. It's like five or six of us and we hit play and we see the cool thing and we talk about it and it, and, get, and I just think that's just beautiful and awesome. And so, I don't know, it's just, it's a really nice feeling. And then you get talked to like, why are you excited about it? And what about it? And like, oh, yeah, just that. Mm. Yeah, I just. I don't have any issues with their reveals. I don't think it's worth them getting up at two and four a.m. on a Sunday morning sometimes because they're doing something. No, I don't do that. Time. No, if it's a weird time, I don't do that. What I do do, which I think is quite clever of me, is when I want to go and check the reveals after they've already been on. I don't go on the Warhammer community because you're just going to see it plastered. Sure. I go on to Twitch and just play their stream, oh. so I see nothing of it until I hit record, and then I'm watching their whole stream as if as if you were like, watching it. It's happening right now, and I get to enjoy it. It's <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, I just quite like that experience um, <laughs> and I guess it is that whole thing of like you get bored of things like you said you get so I don't want to be excited about something now and do something with it now and not you know okay Titanicus mm-hmm. is coming in a year okay <clears throat> I'm not excited about that now <clears throat> it's I, 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 I'm broken I'm broken I can't even speak um, yeah. I want to talk to you about Allegiance Imperialis so Allegiance Imperialis yes it's not though. It's just legions. That's the thing. Just I, legions. I, I thought it was legionis as well, and I was Probably looking because I keep today. saying it like an idiot. No, because it's it's legionis Astartes, right? But yes. it's not. It's legions imperialis. It's weird. Yeah. Because where's where's non? Where's just imperialis then? Because like that made sense. Forty k, and then there was epic forty k, right? Yeah. So yeah. if there was imperialis and then legions imperialis, that would make sense. Anyway, yeah. enough of that. <clears throat> Let's talk about not epic. Okay, so here was here was my thoughts. I didn't care about it whatsoever. wasn't excited about it because it was going to be based Norse heresy. Wow. And then when they showed it off, then there was guardsmen in, and I was like, "I'm in. I'm sold. I'm right there. I'm in. I'm good." Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's all I needed. Mm-hmm. All I needed was it not for every game to be little space marines fighting little space marines. That's all. But Horus heresy isn't space marines versus space marines. It's space marines and solar auxilia and titan legions and mechanicum and. So if they, do that, if, they, if they like flesh it out that much for me, at least like you like you said, add in the mechanicum. Mm. Yeah, the fact they're adding in the Titans is beautiful. Cause like even I got bored of Titans. I don't like Titan on Titan fights that are the same. I just they just bore me. I just I don't you take a warlord and two reavers and four thing. Okay, well, I'll take a warlord, two reavers and four. You know, it's just that's just like it's not for me. Um and it's not even about the rules, it's more about the aesthetics of it that just drives me nuts. I was saying it on stream the other day, it's like in my hobby group, if the rest of the hobby group decided tomorrow, look, we're going to do the next eight weeks and we're going to do Titanic. I'd be like, absolutely. If you guys are excited about that, let's do it. And I would 3D print like orc titans, like a, a gargant and thing. And I would just use the rules for this gargant has the rules of a warlord. This, you know what I mean? And I just, yep. so the battlefield would look a little different and have a little bit of uh, That was it. That would make me happy. Um, so when, as soon as I saw a tiny Lehman Russ, I was done. I, I like was just so happy. Give me all of them. Um, and for some reason that made me excited to do even the Space Marine side of it I want to do I'm not so mad on the infantry I would just like to do little dreadnoughts and little tanks for days <laughs> just give me them all um, yeah I think so it looks I mean epic is, is the word I'd use for it yeah. I think it looks absolutely epic I think yeah. the <clears throat> they've alluded to in one of the articles that we're going to get tiny tiny Primarchs oh my god of course we are yep and I did a a post as soon as it came out which was finally got plastic jump marines for Horus Heresy. Oh no. They're in quarter scale. <laughs> True. They're great, but they're very small. Uh, but they're little, they're little teeny weeny. Little teeny weeny. Little teeny. boyos. What do, you th- what do you what do you think about the the models? So <laughs> I'm, for some reason, my, I'm not a very critical person usually, but for some reason, I However, thought the paint jobs are tiny. <laughs> I'm like, crap. Mm-hmm. I was like, those paint jobs aren't great. And people are like, they're this size. I'm like, yeah, I know that, but I don't think they were painted by the Envy Metal team. <laughs> like, I don't know who painted them, but they're not Envy Metal team level paint jobs. <laughs> I don't think so anyway. But they work. Like they're obviously the pictures are zoomed in tiny, and heaven forbid if anyone ever took one of my models and zoomed it in that close, their eyes would probably bleed. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah, I think they're awesome. I think the detail is there. I'm so glad they went from six mil to eight mil so that we could see the detail. Mm. 
Um, well, I don't even think that's it. I think I remember when they brought out the... Uh, was it the big... Was it the Warlord for 40k? And they were like, this is the scale of a Warlord. We kind of made it up before. This is how big a Warlord should be. And from that point, everything that came out after it was the correct scale. Whatever the correct scale is. But like that one Warlord was the size of a Warlord. And next to it was the size of a Space Marine. And everything else was somewhere in the middle. Like when they produced the Warbringer, when he came out, like he was the correct scale from the yeah. beginning. <clears throat> Whereas Epic, if you like, I'll superimpose images. Everything's all over the place. Like Land Raiders are teeny tiny. Space Marines are massive compared to it. Rhinos don't make any sense. The old Thunderhawks were like half the size of a, a Land Raider. Like they're <clears throat> god awful, but they're good for that era. But now that they've set this scale, yeah, it's kind of like this is this is just based on the fact that they have this scale predefined. Yeah, not that everything's perfect, but like close. Yeah, and the. The the actual resin warlord titan is not the correct scale. The, the heresy one, the forge world one. There was this really interesting um, Q and A that I was at for mm. Games Day, and the guy was like, "Look, we can't actually do the titans of scale because they would be too big." But what we do do is we go one and a half times up. So a reaver is one and a half times a warhound, and a warlord is one and a half times the height. That because I think someone asked it. Would you ever do an Imperator? Like, is it possible? And he's like, yeah, of course it's possible. It would be one and a half times size Warlord, which yeah. you're like, will be absolutely ridiculous. But it's something you could physically put on a tabletop and stuff. And if that over, it would die and kill many people. But um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. But yeah, I'm super excited that the scale is correct. Because even now, like, I 3D printed a bunch of Titan uh, tanks for Epic just to do a little painting video on them because I was excited. As soon as I saw, it was one of those things where once it was in my head, I had to get it out of my head. Yep. I had to paint a tiny Lehman Russ or I was going to explode. And I printed two little uh, Lehman Russes and a Shadow Sword. And the Shadow Sword is like tiny compared to... So I was like, whatever scale they were printed at is wrong. Whatever yep. scale they were sculpted at was wrong. And I don't know... Like, it didn't tell me in the description that this is actually 6 mil and this is the 8 mil crown. I'm like, oh, this is just... So I didn't do the Shadow Sword at all. This just went to the bin. And I think the Lehman Russes are about right. But I don't plan on playing with them. But yeah, I cannot wait for them to actually see the correct size. <clears throat> I love yeah. I love just being able to, like, you don't get it all the time, but every now and then you'll get a really complex <clears throat> uh, STL file. And for some reason, they will include a completed one in the in the box, basically. Like, you'll get, like, I don't know, uh, a Thunderhawk equivalent, and it'll be in 750 pieces. But then there's one of them, which is just Thunderhawk. Yep. And it's just one piece. And so... I love those kind of things so I can put them under the feet of my uh, Warlord Titans and stuff. Like, just, you know, like Rhino or Rhino equivalent. Can't get epic tanks anymore. But you can now. Yes, you can. So you're you're not excited about it or you are excited about it? I am excited about it. Yeah, I, I definitely am. Like, I definitely, once I saw the guard I was in. Yep. Um, And I, yeah, like, as long as it's not guard on guard, we get Mechanicum, we get Solo Auxilia, and we get... Maybe even just like cult, militia, army. Maybe even just like you could do like chaos guard, the traitors, like little hordes sure. of beasts and all that crap for big sieges against Terra and all that kind of stuff. Maybe I don't know. It's just an idea. Um, I love it, but I'm not very confident about it still. Okay, in what way? Like I'm still not confident that the horse heresy is doing very well. Um, I'm. I just. I. I like. I wanted to do well. I just don't see it doing that well. Uh, I think I just need to go to an event somewhere and just see that there is actually all this excitement and love for it somewhere because I just don't see it anywhere. Like all the posts I see online um, are someone finishing some of the horse hairs and be like, oh, this is awesome. So happy about this. Really wish more people played. I'm like, okay, like make more people play then. If, you're, if it's your game, if it's your jam, invite people to play. Do an event, do an uh, I don't know. Well, yeah. I think it's doing better than Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> oh yeah, that wouldn't be hard. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, that's... That is the benchmark, right? Lord of the Rings is the is the base. And I think the the thing that stands out to me is like if you look at the Games Workshop website front page, it's right there. Like it is it, it's big enough that it's come out of box games and Titanicus is in box games. So I feel like anything branded Horus Heresy has gotta be doing something to sit there on that on that main page as a menu option. Yeah. I hope so. I really do. 
I want it to be, I want it to be epic because I know the people that are passionate about it are super passionate about it, and I want them to have their models and their toys and so yeah. But they are taking most of the Space Marine stuff and Chaosy stuff and putting it into Aeronautica or into Titanicus Legio. I'll get there eventually. Legionus Epic Astartes. <laughs> That's, that's it that's, that's it, the yeah. one that's what we're calling it now i don't know why they haven't just called it epic i don't know why they didn't go back to it because they i mean i've just gone to the article from the third the third headline on the page like there's a big headline and then there's like an age of darkness and then it literally says epic scale and it's like why not just call it epic like they own the it's surely they own epic. a no, trademark on epic right epic. no They've got to own a trademark. They had a game with it. I know, that's the problem. That's why it's Legionis Astartes and Adeptus Sororitas instead of Sister of Battle, because they can't trademark sisters of battle or space marines. I mean, they can. But yeah. do they want to fight that, I guess? But, like, yeah. that's the problem, right? Do you really want to fight these battles? Yeah. And I guess no one's going to accidentally call something Legions Imperialis. No. No, I think they're fairly safe with that. No one will say it when they mean to, apparently. But no, people just can't say the say the words. Yeah. Um, what, what what do you think about the starter box then? So there's three predators. There are two oh. Sicarans. Yes, I think it's really cool. Let's see, what we got for the Space Marine side. You do get Terminators now. I didn't realize that. Uh, you don't. Do you? Oh, you do. Yes, you do. You Apologies. Yeah. Yep. Two bases of Terminators. I two think bases so. of Terminators. Two bases of Jump Marines. Two bases of Devastator Squad. From the looks of it. Yeah. Uh, two bases of uh, support with plasma, and four, eight standard marines, uh, and two command squads. Yeah. So that's a very decent amount of space marines. To be honest, that's quite a lot. I love to get to Karens. Yes, I love. love the I think I think the real key to this is it's very similar to the time difference between getting something, the Warbringer in 40k and the Warbringer in Titanicus was months because they had the model, they designed it. And so they just rescaled it and press print. Yeah. Like that was, that was literally all it is. Like if you, if you, if, if, well, blah, 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 I cannot speak today, Andy. No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. You've built Warhands, right? You have our Warhand. Yes. Have you built Titanicus Warhands? Yes. Have you looked at the instructions between the two? Because they're the same. Like the yeah. Titanicus Warhound is basically the 40k Warhound from yes. pieces. The what's the middle one? Reaver. Reaver. The Reaver is exactly the same as well. You just don't get the articulation in the fingers for the the fist, but you do get the fingers. Like it's this is literally just a you know make make one quarter size and print. Yes. One thing the only the only models in the box set. That I don't like. Are the Are Scout Walkers. Solar Auxilia Sentinel things. Yeah. Scout Walkers. That's them. Yep. They are gross. Do <laughs> you think? Are, are we supposed to get for like 28 mil scale versions of them? Because I own every Solar Auxilia model that was ever brought out. And like obviously they don't exist yet. Are we going to get larger scale versions of those? <laughs> I think we will. I quite like the look of them actually. I think they're a really interesting take on a sentinel. Yeah. All right. Because so, the whole point of Solar Auxilia is that they're in hardened armor. Like they're supposed to be the ones yeah. on the ships. And then the Space Marines land and they're suddenly running around outside and they're like, well, I guess we're going outside then. Yeah. So yeah, they're standard. all void hardened beasts. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. <clears throat> so I guess yeah. that's what this is as well, right? It's like, Maybe that's the idea they're supposed to like drop. Like you can see the way though, like the big um kind of brass arch that goes over the like center structure and then on both mm -hmm. sides. Imagine that like you know, clamped. So a transport yep. drops down like three or five of them and I go and just and just lets them go from there. That would be kind of cool. Um I also agree, I don't like the model, but I if have this issue. In 28 mil, I would buy them. Like I have a yeah. problem. <clears throat> when they come out in 28 mil, you will buy them. Yes. I'm to say goodbye. <laughs> Just leave that in on the intro. 
<laughs> okay, guys, you just heard that. That is the outro that I'm needing for this show. He decided to sing for reasons. I don't know why. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you do the usual like, comment, subscribe, follow, check Twitters. It's all in the description below, guys. Have a good one, and I'll see you next episode. Thank you.